In this experiment, we will find the critical angle of a semicircular perspex block. You will need a pen and paper, ruler and protractor, and a ray box. The lens focuses the light from the bulb. The single slit aperture produces a narrow beam. The blanking plates prevent light from leaking from the sides. Plug the ray box into a power source. Set it aside. In the middle of the page, trace around the perspex block. In the middle of this straight boundary, mark out a line that is 90 degrees to the boundary. This is known as the normal. To find the critical angle of the block, we must look at the ray from the denser medium to the less dense medium. In this case, we should observe the path going through the perspex, going through into the air. When the angle of incidence is smaller than the critical angle, the light is refracted into the air. When the angle of incidence is exactly equal to the critical angle, it travels along the boundary. But the moment that it becomes larger than the critical angle, the light is fully reflected. We call this total internal reflection. So to find the critical angle, we want the point just before total internal reflection. Mark a point on the incident ray, remove the block, join the cross up with the normal. The angle between the incident ray and the normal is the critical angle. Measure it using the protractor. So I've worked out the critical angle of my perspex prism is 43 degrees. Here's an extension to this experiment. Find the refractive index of perspex using this equation. Refractive index is equal to 1 divided by the sine of the critical angle. So the refractive index of perspex material is 1.5. Thanks for watching till the end of this video. If you found it useful, be sure to subscribe.